What's up, gang? Today, we're going to be talking about the Allen & Heath ZR16 and specifically the way that it interfaces with Ableton Live and setting up those transport controls so that they can control the transport on Ableton. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on this and I hope this clears it up. Here we go. Okay, so here we are with the ZR16 and you're going to want to go behind the unit and check your serial number because uh, Alan and Heath says that serial number uh, ZR16X-215306 or higher are the only ones that will allow you to do the MIDI note on off for the controls. So on this ships, these are uh, MIDI machine control and Ableton will only work with MIDI note on off. So what you're going to want to do is hold down the record button and power up. Let go. Press button one. Let go. And then you're going to simultaneously hold record and one. For two seconds, release both buttons. Then you're going to power down the mixer, power down your computer, and restart both. Okay, so we are in Ableton Live, and we're already recording. You can see my vocal there. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to your preferences, and then we're going to look um, here under the link MIDI. So we're not messing with the link part, but for MIDI, control surface input needs to be your Allen and Heath port one. And that's all that needs to be ticked up there. Um, and then over here under MIDI ports, you have Allen and Heath, Firewire mixer, you want track, and it's important that you have remote on. And then the other thing, so once that is set up that way, you're going to want to come up here to MIDI and you would assign this like you would any of the other buttons. So what you would do is you go up here to your transport, you select that and then you just hit the button that you want. And that should work. Uh, my transport works with Ableton. Um, I can't really show you how to do how it is working because I'm recording now. Um, but trust me, it's working. All right. All right, so that is how you set up the transport on Ableton. I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description for the article at Allen and Heath that shows how to set up for the MIDI note on off uh, versus the MIDI machine control. Thanks for reaching out. Please let me know if you get this transport issue working again. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, peace.